same city, attended the same middle school, and participated in the same extracurricular, extracurricular activities. We're also all wearing the same shirt. <laughs> but beyond that, we all share an interest in science, technology, engineering, and math. But which one of us is most likely to go into a career in one of these fields? The fact is, <laughs> that based on the, stati the statistics, there's one clear answer. <laughs> so for the past three years, Rianne and I have competed in a program known as First Lego League, which challenges participants, which is usually middle school students, to build and program autonomous Lego Mindstorms robots, as well as create an innovative solution to the problem or the theme of that year. So last two years ago, the challenge was education. And since our team was one of the only all girls teams from our region, we decided to investigate why we were one of the only all girls teams out there and why more women weren't going into STEM fields. Getting girls into STEM is a widely recognized issue among educators and employers. So we took a two-pronged approach. We talked to women in STEM and we surveyed 486 middle schoolers at two middle schools. What we found was that most girls thought that they were hard workers, which the women who we talked to thought was important for being in STEM, but the majority weren't interested in STEM, and the greater majority thought that their friends weren't interested in STEM. This is troubling because of the effects of peer pressure on middle schoolers. So after we got the results from the survey, we decided to look into the issue of peer pressure among young girls and young people in general. Um, we thought that this could be one of the main reasons why girls were driven away from STEM in the first place. If they're surrounded by people and their friends who have little to no interest in STEM, then they begin to question whether they should be interested at all. Not to mention the fact that most of pop culture does not portray women in STEM, nor encourage STEM-related play through the ways that toys and activities are marketed to young children. Uh, this can lead to the early onset of gender-based stereotypes and the assumption that there are careers out there that are strictly gender-specific. So, despite growing up in a culture that does not support or does not encourage women to go into STEM, we were lucky enough to find women role models who had a variety of different experiences regarding their um, entrance to STEM. We talked to biochemists Linskin Swint Cruz, Jackie Thompson, research analyst Yolanda Howard, software engineer Diane Fetima, Katrina Rothrock of KU Center for STEM Learning, biochemist and health scientist um, Susan and Gary Carlson. And they all said that encouragement at a young age is crucial, especially for young girls, and it is helpful for them to have family members in the business. Also, it is hard for women to balance careers and families when they're trying to enter STEM. Um, they also said that women are inspired by different things that boys are. So boys are inspired by things and girls are inspired by people and their stories. So throughout all of these things that we've learned from these women, similar themes begin to emerge. We tried to piece together the puzzle to find one clear answer, but the fact is <coughs> there isn't one. This is a complex issue and can't be handled by doing one thing or another. But there are some ways that you can help. The first thing is to spread the word. If people take notice, then they can take action. The second thing is to encourage the girls around you. Encourage them to participate in STEM activities like First Lego League. And encourage them to follow their interests and pursue their passions. And make sure that they gain some experience before they rule out the field because their friends don't like it. This is a growing field and it is important to both the people of today and the people of the future. Finally, be cautious about the comments you make around boys and girls. Do not encourage boys to go get their hands dirty while making girls stand back so they don't get their clothes dirty. So, if we come back to our opening with our friend Spencer, we would like you to reconsider the three of us. We are all equally capable of entering STEM careers and in our particular cases, we are all equally interested. So think about the young people you interact with on a daily basis. Are you sending the boys and the girls the same kinds of messages? Are you giving them equal opportunities to experience STEM through the toys and activities that you present to them? Do you give them the same kinds of feedback in terms of what is acceptable, in terms of um, experimenting and risk taking? In the words of Debbie Sterling, engineer and CEO of Goldie Blocks, we are not here to say that 
Pink and princesses are bad. We just want girls to know that they can build their own castles too. Thank you.